What's going on, Wildcats? I'm Nick. And I'm Austin. Welcome back to this week's Cat's Eye News. Let's get straight into it. Wish Week is next week, March 14th to the 18th, and Novi will be raising money to send a Make-A-Wish kid to Myrtle Beach. You can buy stars during your advisory on Monday, pie a teacher on Tuesday, bring a loose change to your fourth hour on Wednesday, do a prize walk during your lunch on Thursday, and attend the senior staff basketball game on Friday. And we will also have Spirit Days. Monday will be Blue and White Day, Tuesday will be Mismatch Day, Wednesday will be Beach Day, Thursday will be Throwback Day, and Friday will be Green and White Day. Let's show some spirit, Wildcats. Congratulations to Emma Corbett for winning the T-shirt design contest for Track and Field's 2022 KLAA meet. Luca Olgren and Justin Frick came in second and third, respectively. Time to put on some formal wear and learn more about this year's prom. Let's go to the promo video for more. Why are you guys dancing? Uh, we're just um, we're practicing for the, the prom. Prom? Prom is on Saturday, April 30th from 7 to 11. The venue is the Suburban Show Place. Prom is open to our juniors and seniors this year, although you can bring a guest as long as you fill out the paperwork. Tickets are $80. They'll be available at all lunches on April 4th to 15th. I actually do have a question. What's the theme for prom 2022? Enchanted evening. Thanks for the promo, guys. Have you ever wondered if teaching was your teacher's first career choice? Let's go to Tommy and myself to learn more. With the end of the school year coming up, there's a lot of decisions to be made. Let's see where some school teachers thought their career would take them. Um, as a high schooler, I, early on I wanted to be a marine biologist. As a, you know, there's a vivid memory of me. I drew on a picture one time when I was like, it's, elementary school and even into high school a little bit of I wanted to play middle linebacker for the Oakland Raiders is what I wanted to do but uh, um, you know wasn't quite got didn't get tall enough or fast enough for that I attended many colleges uh, I did my undergrad in French at Michigan State and then I went to Eastern for teaching and then I went to Madonna for my master's and then Oakland for my ed specialist uh, University of Michigan in Ann Arbor Um, I started coaching early on and really enjoyed working with people and helping them build skills and thought that would be a great opportunity for me and something that really seemed to fit my personality. I was, uh, one summer, I knew I did not want to go back home to work on, uh, work at the local car wash that I'd been doing through high school as a part-time job and signed up for a, uh, working at a summer camp and uh, had an awesome experience. And uh, I remember once vividly what happened, what really made me change my mind is one, one week uh, I was told that uh, they were going to put a really problem camper with me, but they thought I could handle it. And I said, uh, you know, bring it on and let's do it. And uh, the mom dropped him off on Sunday and said to me, hey, I'll see you by Tuesday. And I remember thinking, Tuesday, what are you talking to? We get done on Friday. And she says, he's never made it past Tuesday. And uh, so I made it a, my, my goal to make sure he had a great time, which we did. He had an awesome time. Uh, stayed all the way to Friday. Actually gave up a opportunity to go to Disney World like two weeks later with his family and came back to camp. So um, that's when I kind of knew I, it was probably more of a calling than anything else. I don't know if I ever like really thought about education at that point until uh, probably that, that moment. I'm like, I kind of changed all my gears in college and said, I'm going to go towards education. It looks like Mr. Liss is getting pretty fired up. Let's see what he's excited for. Let's go to Lofton and Seth for more. What up, Nova? We got Miss Liss to tell us what's happening with the senior staff ball game. Let's roll it. All right, make sure you come out to our staff student basketball game. It's on Friday, March 18th at 3.30 p.m. right after school. Pack the gyms. We got Coach Zuck playing, Coach Housey, Coach Masseret, uh, Coach Sari. We got a lot of stars coming out for this game, so make sure you're ready to see the seniors take the L. Robotic season is booting up. Let's go to Nick for more. Frog Force, Nova High School's robotics team has its first regional competition, Friday, March 12th to Saturday, March 13th. Make sure to be there. Thanks, Nick. Now let's take it to Seth with sports. 
Thanks, guys. Let's get to it. Basketball was in action last night. Stay tuned for our next broadcast to hear about the rivalry playoff game against Northville. Boys Swim and Dive is heading to states this Friday and Saturday at Holland. Good luck to everyone competing. That's all we've got for sports. Now back to the desk. Thanks again for tuning into this week's edition of the Cat's Eye News. I'm Austin. And I'm Nick. Catch you next week, Novi.